The first thing anyone notices about 3i slash Atlas is its striking green glow. Spectral analysts quickly zeroed in on this color, scouring the comet's light for chemical fingerprints. The consensus, backed by ultraviolet excited spectra from both professional and amateur teams, points to diatomic carbon, C2, as the main culprit. When sunlight hits carbon-rich molecules in the coma, it kicks them into an excited state. As these molecules relax, they emit a vivid green light, especially in the swan bands around 510 nanometers. This is a classic signature for active comets, but 3i slash Atlas stands out for the sheer intensity of its green hue, even from a distance of two astronomical units. Not everyone agrees on the details. Some teams have flagged possible contributions from ionized carbon monoxide, CO+, or the cyanogen radical, CN, especially in the earliest September spectra. Both of these can also glow green or blue under solar ultraviolet, and debates have broken out in peer review threads over calibration scripts and the handling of background subtraction. Still, the most robust datasets, those with the cleanest, widest spectral coverage, consistently show that C2 emission dominates the visible coma. The chemistry here is more than just a visual effect. The rapid speed of 3i slash Atlas means that solar radiation is slamming into fresh ices and dust at an accelerated rate, peeling off volatile molecules and mixing them into the coma. As a result, the green color isn't just a marker for carbon, it's a real-time indicator of how quickly the comet's surface is changing as it races toward the sun.